Rumors surrounding the next generation AMD RDNA 3 Navi 3X GPUs have already started hitting the web as reliable leaker Kitty Yuko, who posted accurate information for Ampere GPUs months before they released, has now posted the first alleged specs for AMD's Navi 33 GPU, which will power the next generation Radeon RX gaming graphics cards. Now, according to Kitty Yuko, the AMD Navi 33 GPU is allegedly going to feature the same specs as the Navi 21 GPU, but will be based on their next generation RDNA 3 GPU IP core. Now this means that we're going to see the same existing performance as the existing Big Navi 21 RDNA 2 GPU in future mainstream graphics cards. Now this sure sounds too good to be true, but considering that AMD has promised huge performance gains with its RDNA 3 lineup of Radeon RX graphics cards, this may very well be the case. As for some specifications, if Navi 33 is expected to be similar to Navi 21, then we can expect a total of 80 compute units, which will pack a total of 5,120 stream processors if AMD keeps their per CU core count to 64 SPs as the existing chips are. Now, what's interesting is that the previous rumor had hinted that the Navi 31 GPU was also going to feature 80 compute units, but would be based on the new RDNA 3 IP. And it seems like the 80 CU rumor could be true, but that won't be the full specifications that the chip will offer. AMD Navi 31 chips will end up with an MCM solution and feature dual 80 compute unit chiplet dies, and each would feature 5,120 cores. This would round up to a maximum of 160 compute units with a total of 10,240 stream processors. If that ends up being the case, and it's looking more and more like it will be, then we can definitely expect an ADCU Navi 33 part. Now the Navi 32 SKU could end up with around 120 to 140 CUs, and that too could be a multi-chip module design. Now this would make for a very hefty GPU design, so we can expect it to be based on the brand new process, such as TSMC's 5 nanometer. Now AMD has already patented an active bridge chiplet solution for its next generation GPUs, which comes with an integrated cache and interconnects the multiple dies featured on the Navi 3X RDNA 3 GPUs. We have an existing video on the channel discussing that if you'd like to check it out, and we'll link it up there, I think, on this side. The AMD RDNA 3 Navi 3 GPU lineup of Radeon RX graphics cards will be competing with NVIDIA's own MCM GPUs based on either the Ada Lovelace GPUs. As of now, the next generation parts still aren't expected until the end of 2022 or early 2023, so treat this information with the required grain of salt. And I want to thank you for making it to the end of this video. If you like what you've seen here and you like getting news daily, make sure you hit that subscribe button down there in the corner. And if you've missed out on news in the past and you want to catch those, check out one of these videos over here.